Chapter 7 Now the sons of Issachar were Tola and Pua, Jashub and Shimron four, and the sons of Tola, Uzi and Rephiah, Jeriel and Jamai, and Jibsam and Shemuel, heads of their father's house, to wit of Tola, they were valiant men of might in their generations, whose number was in the days of David two and twenty thousand and six hundred. And the sons of Uzi, Israhiah, and the sons of Israhiah, Michael and Obadiah, and Joel, Isaiah, five, all of them chief men. And with them by their generations after the house of their fathers were bands of soldiers for war, six and thirty thousand men, for they had many wives and sons. And their brethren among all the families of Issachar were valued men of might, reckoned in all by their genealogies fourscore and seven thousand. The sons of Benjamin, Bela, and Bichir, and Jediel, three. And the sons of Bela, Esbon, and Uzi, and Uziel, and Jeremoth, and Eri, five heads of the house of their fathers, mighty men of valor, and were reckoned by their genealogies twenty and two thousand and thirty and four. And the sons of Bichir, Zemaira, and Joash, and Eliezer, and Elionai, and Omri, and Jeremoth, and Abiah, and Anathoth, and Alameth, and all these are the sons of Bechir. And the number of them, after their genealogy by their generations, heads of the house of their fathers, mighty men of valor, was twenty thousand and two hundred. The sons also of Jediael, Bilhan, and the sons of Bilhan, Jeush, and Benjamin, and Ehud, and Kineana, Zithan, and Tarshish, and Ahishahar, all these the sons of Jediael, by the heads of their fathers, mighty men of valor, were seven thousand and two hundred soldiers, fit to go out for war and battle. Shupim also, and Hupim, the children of Ir, and Hushim, the sons of Aher, the sons of Naphtali, Jaziel, and Guni, and Jazer, and Shalom, the sons of Bilha, the sons of Manasseh, Azrael, whom she bare. But his concubine, the Aramitess, bare Mechir, the father of Gilead. And Mechir took to wife the sister of Hupim and Shupim, whose sister's name was Meacha, and the name of the second was Zelophehad, and Zelophehad had daughters. And Meacha, the wife of Machir, bare a son, and she called his name Peresh, and the name of his brother was Sheresh, and his sons were Ulam and Rakim, and the sons of Ulam, Bedan. These were the sons of Gilead, the sons of Machir, the son of Manasseh. And his sister Hamolaketh bare Ishod, and Abiezer, and Mehela. And the sons of Shemada were Ahayan, and Shechem, and Lichai, and Anayam. And the sons of Ephraim, Shuthila, and Bered his son, and Tachath his son, and Eleda his son, and Tachath his son, and Zabad his son, and Shuthila his son, and Azer and Eliad, whom the men of Gath that were born in that land slew, because they came down to take away their cattle. And Ephraim their father mourned many days, and his brethren came to comfort him. And when he went in to his wife, she conceived and bare a son, and he called his name Beriah, because it went evil with his house. And his daughter was Shira, who built Bethoron the nether and the upper, and Uzen Shira. And Repha was his son, also Resef, and Tela his son, and Tehan his son, Leadan his son, Amihud his son, Elishama his son, Non his son, Jehoshua his son. And their possessions and habitations were Bethel, and the towns thereof, and eastward Nearan, and westward Gezer, with the towns thereof, Shechem also, and the towns thereof, unto Gaza, and the towns thereof. And by the borders of the children of Manasseh, Bethshean, and her towns, Teanach, and her towns, Megiddo, and her towns, Dor, and her towns, in these dwelt the children of Joseph, the son of Israel. The sons of Asher, Imna, and Isua, and Ishuai, and Beriah, and Sarah their sister. And the sons of Beriah, Heber, and Malkiel, who was the father of Birzevith. And Heber begat Japhlet, and Shomer, and Hotham, and Shua their sister. And the sons of Japhlet, Pesach, and Bimhal, and Azvad. These are the children of Japhlet. And the sons of Shamir, Achai, Roga, Jehuba, and Aram. And the sons of his brother, Halem, Zophar, and Imna, and Shelesh, and Amar. The sons of Zophar, Sua, and Harnefer, and Shual, and Beri, and Imra. Bezer, and Hod, and Shama, and Shilsha, and Ithran, and Bira. And the sons of Jether, Jephuni, and Pispa, and Ara. And the sons of Ula, Ara, and Haniel, and Rizia. 
All these were the children of Asher, heads of their father's house, choice and mighty men of valor, chief of the princes, and the number throughout the genealogy of them that were apt to the war and to battle was twenty and six thousand men. Chapter 8 Now Benjamin begat Bela his firstborn, Ashbel the second, and Ahara the third, Noha the fourth, and Repha the fifth. And the sons of Bela were Adar, and Gera, and Abihud, and Abishua, and Neaman, and Ahua, and Gera, and Shephophan, and Huram. And these are the sons of Ehud, these are the heads of the fathers of the inhabitants of Geba, and they removed them to Manahath. And Neaman, and Ahia, and Gera, he removed them, and begat Uza and Ahihud. And Sheharaim begat children in the country of Moab, after he had sent them away. Hushim and Be'arah were his wives. And he begat of Hodesh his wife Jobab, and Zibiah, and Misha, and Malcam, and Jeuz, and Shachiah, and Mirma. These were his sons, heads of the fathers. And of Hushim he begat Abitub and Elpeal, the sons of Elpeal, Eber, and Mashum, and Shemid, who built Ono, and Lad were the towns thereof. Biriah also, and Shema, who were heads of the fathers of the inhabitants of Aijalon, who drove away the inhabitants of Gath, and Ahio, Shashak, and Jeremoth, and Zebadiah, and Arad, and Adar, and Michael, and Ispa, and Joha, the sons of Biriah, and Zebadiah, and Meshulam, and Hezekiah, and Heber, Ishmerai also, and Jezliah, and Jobab, the sons of Elpeal, and Jakim, and Zikri, and Zabdi, and Elienai, and Ziltai, and Eliel, and Adiah, and Beriah, and Shimra, the sons of Shimhi, and Ishpan, and Heber, and Eliel, and Abdon, and Zikri, and Hanan, and Hananiah, and Elam, and Atothijah, and Iphediah, and Penuel, the sons of Shashak, and Shamshirai, and Shehariah, and Athaliah, and Jerushiah, and Eliah, and Zikri, the sons of Jeroham. These were heads of the fathers by their generation's chief men. These dwelt in Jerusalem, and at Gibeon dwelt the father of Gibeon, whose wife's name was Maacha, and his firstborn son Abdon, and Zur, and Kish, and Baal, and Nadab, and Gedor, and Ahio, and Zekir, and Mikloth begat Shimea, and these also dwelt with their brethren in Jerusalem over against them. And Ner begat Kish, and Kish begat Saul, and Saul begat Jonathan, and Malkishua, and Abinadab, and Eshbeal. And the son of Jonathan was Meribbeal, and Meribbeal begat Micah. And the sons of Micah were Pithon, and Melech, and Taria, and Ahaz. And Ahaz begat Jehoadah, and Jehoada begat Alameth, and Azmaveth, and Zimri, and Zimri begat Moza, and Moza begat Binea, Repha was his son, Eliasa his son, Azel his son. And Azel had six sons, whose names are these, Azrikam, Bocheru, and Ishmael, and Shiariah, and Obadiah, and Hanan. All these were the sons of Azel. And the sons of Eshek, his brother, were Ulam, his firstborn, Jehush the second, and Eliphalet the third. And the sons of Ulam were mighty men of valor, archers, and had many sons and sons' sons, and hundred and fifty. All these are the sons of Benjamin. Chapter 9 So all Israel were reckoned by genealogies, and behold, they were written in the book of the kings of Israel and Judah, who were carried away to Babylon for their transgression. Now the first inhabitants that dwelt in their possessions in their cities were the Israelites, the priests, Levites, and the Nethanims. And in Jerusalem dwelt of the children of Judah, and of the children of Benjamin, and of the children of Ephraim and Manasseh. Uthai, the son of Amihud, the son of Omri, the son of Imri, the son of Bani, of the children of Perez, the son of Judah, and of the Shilonites... Aziah, the firstborn, and his sons, and of the sons of Zerah, Jeuel, and their brethren, six hundred and ninety. And of the sons of Benjamin, Shalu, the son of Meshulam, the son of Hodaviah, the son of Hasenua, and Ibniah, the son of Jeroham, and Ela, the son of Uzi, the son of Mikri, and Meshulam, the son of Shephathiah, the son of Reuel, the son of Ibnijah, and their brethren, according to their generations, nine hundred and fifty-six. 
All these men were chief of the fathers in the house of their fathers, and of the priest Jediah, and Jehoarib, and Jachin, and Azariah the son of Hilkiah, the son of Meshulam, the son of Zadok, the son of Merioth, the son of Ahitub, the ruler of the house of God, and Adaiah the son of Jeroham, the son of Pashur, the son of Malchiah, and Maasiah, the son of Adiel, the son of Jazerah, the son of Meshulam, the son of Meshulamith, the son of Emer, and their brethren, heads of the house of their fathers, a thousand and seven hundred and threescore, very able men for the work of the service of the house of God. And of the Levites, Shemaiah, the son of Hashub, the son of Azrikam, the son of Hashabiah, of the sons of Merari, and Bakbakar, Harish, and Galal, and Mataniah, the son of Micah, the son of Zikri, the son of Asaph. And Obadiah, the son of Shemaiah, the son of Galal, the son of Jeduthun, and Berechiah, the son of Asa, the son of Elkanah, that dwelt in the villages of the Nitaphathites. And the porters were Shalom, and Akub, and Talmon, and Ahiman, and their brethren Shalom was the chief, who hitherto waited in the king's gate eastward. They were porters in the companies of the children of Levi. And Shalom, the son of Kori, the son of Abiasaph, the son of Korah, and his brethren of the house of his father, and the Korahites were over the work of the service, keepers of the gates of the tabernacle, and their fathers, being over the host of the Lord, were keepers of the entry. And Phinehas, the son of Eleazar, was the ruler over them in time past, and the Lord was with him. And Zechariah, the son of Melshemiah, was porter of the door of the tabernacle of the congregation. All these which were chosen to be porters in the gates were two hundred and twelve. These were reckoned by their genealogy in their villages, whom David and Samuel the seer did ordain in their set office. So they and their children had the oversight of the gates of the house of the Lord, namely, the house of the tabernacle by wards. In four quarters were the porters, toward the east, west, north, and south. And their brethren, which were in their villages, were to come after seven days from time to time with them. For these Levites, the four chief porters, were in their set office, and were over the chambers and treasures of the house of God. And they lodged round about the house of God, because the charge was upon them, and the opening thereof every morning pertained to them, and certain of them had the charge of the ministering vessels, that they should bring them in and out by tale. Some of them also were appointed to oversee the vessels and all the instruments of the sanctuary, and the fine flour, and the wine, and the oil, and the frankincense, and the spices. And some of the sons of the priests made the ointment of the spices. And Mattathiah, one of the Levites, who was the firstborn of Shalom the Korahite, had the set office over the things that were made in the pans. And other of their brethren, of the sons of the Korahites, were over the shewbread, to prepare it every Sabbath. And these are the singers, chief of the fathers of the Levites, who remaining in the chambers were free, for they were employed in that work day and night. These chief fathers of the Levites were chief throughout their generations. These dwelt in Jerusalem, and in Gibeon dwelt the father of Gibeon, Jehiel, whose wife's name was Maacha, and his firstborn son Abdon, then Zur, and Kish, and Baal, and Ner, and Nadab, and Gedor, and Ahio, and Zechariah, and Mikloth. And Mikloth begat Shimeam, and they also dwelt with their brethren in Jerusalem over against their brethren. And Ner begat Kish, and Kish begat Saul, and Saul begat Jonathan, and Melchishua, and Abinadab, and Eshbaal. And the son of Jonathan was Merabaal, and Merabaal begat Micah, and the sons of Micah were Pithon, and Melech, and Tariah, and Ahaz. And Ahaz begat Jara, and Jara begat Alameth, and Azmaveth, and Zimri, and Zimri begat Moza. And Moza begat Benaiah, and Rephaiah his son, Eleazar his son, Azel his son. And Azel had six sons, whose names are these, Azrikam, Bocheru, and Ishmael, and Shiariah, and Obadiah, and Hanan. These were the sons of Azel.